Well, hello there. Welcome to my first Pokemon Nuzlocke. And, uh, very uh, cute to being first. It's also the first, technically it's the third installment, kind of. Well, my third generation ish, because it never came out before this. Uh, so, uh, Ruby is uh, as well. But this is the gen uh, like the first generation the Kanto region. So, this is an old save file, and with a Nuzlocke, I'm gonna do things different. I'm just gonna skip through all this. Hello, Professor Tree. So, for those of you who don't know, a Nuzlocke is um, essentially a gaming method where it's significantly, it can be significantly harder. Um, but, you know, that all depends on how prepared you are. And I tried to do this before, but um, the audio was actually absolutely terrible, and it was actually slightly delayed a little bit. I'm just going to speed this up, so uh, I'm going to use my name. Yes, for those of you who don't know, my name is Jacob. Yes, and I want to keep him as typical as he can be to the anime, so that means, uh, but not Gary. So I guess it'll be like the other one generations. So blue, yep. Okay. So those of you who don't know, out. I think it's after generation seven. You can't do this. Can't withdraw a potion after generation seven ish, I think. Um yeah, they got rid of the potion in the old PC that was there. So I'm just gonna quickly do this. Uh Tracer Tree's gonna come out and just speed that up. Speed him up. Don't say blah 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 blah. We all know how this goes. Come over to my hood and I'm gonna give you a Pokemon. Yeah, okay, go, 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 go. Okay. Move this along. We, if you if you stumbled across this, or you did click it, and you're watching it, it's Pokemon Nuzlocke. Um, yes, I want to charm it. Um, and uh, so the rules for the Nuzlocke is that uh, Pokemon dies, you can't use it anymore. You either release it or you box it. I'm going to box it to keep track of how many have died. Uh, you have to catch the first Pokemon every route that you come across. No questions. And have kept it. Doesn't matter if it's a double up. Um, you have to nickname everything. So I'm going to nickname. Uh, I'm going to take a page out of Game of Thrones and go. Ray. Now, Rhaegar was Daenerys' older brother. I think it was Rhaegar. That was the dragon's name, not Rhaegon. Viserion, Drogon, and Rhaegar. Yeah, it was Rhaegar. Hopefully. Okay, come on. Takes the one that's super thick against me. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna speed this up. Once I actually get to like the Nuzlocke part, I won't be speeding up unless it's for like that stupid tutorial that that old man does. That not everybody, everybody knows. Just gonna speed this up. I apologize for the music that's there. So. Yeah, 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 we all know. I've been playing this game ever since uh, Pokemon Blue back in 1998. When I was four years old. It had been out for about two, two to three years, I think, at that, at that time. So, you know, it's not. I'm not exactly a spring chicken when it comes to this. I've, I've been in this game for. I've been a part of 20 years. I understand how the patterns work. So, you don't have to tell me how to battle, you don't have to tell me how to catch Pokemon. But, Nuzlocke is completely new to me. I've never done a Nuzlocke, and I'm gonna do a Nuzlocke for every generation. 
and my microphone is just saying it's not that much. I had to sell a Blue Yeti microphone um, just to have money to keep the house because the boss at the time that I had when I was in my old job my hours were cut from 45 down to 26 and then 26 down to 16 and then 16 down to 8 and I was told that it's going to be minimized again from 8 down to 6 right before the pandemic hit so you can understand why I had to sacrifice a lot of things. I can't catch this one yet don't want to be too overpowered for when I do catch my first Pokemon. But yeah, like, you can understand why I said to that job too politely. Uh, well, actually, I didn't, well, I didn't think polite at all. I just told them to go away in a very aggressive manner. I didn't have good relations with the new boss because when she took over, she turned a multi-million dollar, which should be a multi-billion dollar, oops, I don't need to do that, uh, multi-million, which should be a multi-billion dollar company, into her own little playhouse, where she got to bully around her staff, and, you know, that, that, that place is, the people there that I worked with were awesome, they were absolutely incredible, but, the one person that everyone in that company worked for, God, was she a bitch. I'm not going to censor that either, because, you know, that's, that's my story. I lost my house because of my boss. I was about to lose the job as well because of the pandemic. They... I, when I was working there, we had about 86 staff members, and when I left, just before New Zealand came out of, oh, hang on, sorry, just itchy, when I left, and uh, New Zealand just came out of level 3 lockdown for the first time, um, we had about 86 staff members. When I went back, to check on the place and the people, which probably would have been within three weeks. It went from 86 staff members down to, I think it was 27. And less than 10 people quit or resigned. The rest of them were either laid off or uh, got made redundant, which I guess is the same thing. Or they were told that they had to reduce the hours um, from, like, whatever it was, to, like, less than 16, and just pick up the hours elsewhere, but the woman who was doing that, yeah, she took a pay cut, and she took, um, hours cut, but you have to understand that, on a salary, that means absolutely nothing. You can work 16 hours a week on a salary, and get paid 40 hours. That's how that works, except for the pay cut. That's the only thing that really affected her. But she cut everybody else's hours like it was absolutely nothing because she was told to save money. I understand that from a business perspective, but I just had a really bad relation with her, a working relation with her. Outside of work, I don't know. I didn't. I never got to know her. I didn't want to know her because uh, it's just weird. Whenever we had like a staff function, I'm ranting, and I apologize. Um, whenever we had a staff function, um, we were told to come out and be treat and um, act as per normal. We're not there as as work colleagues. And I'll just get the map off of um, Blue's sister, even though he asked me not to. <laughs> um, yeah, we were, we were asked to be ourselves out outside of work, but we were still treated as staff, and that's not on. You know, I had, my new job now is so much better. Not only, oh wow, the whole thing, not only am I in a position of power, okay, hang on. Fidgy! Great! Not only am I in a position of power and authority in the job that I have now, but I love what I do. 
Um, I I've always loved working with my hands. Uh, I love woodwork. My job essentially is uh, woodwork and craft. I'm a pallet manufacturing and uh, it's in the uh, pallet manufacturing company. Um, but I don't make the pallets. I cut the wood for the pallets and for other stuff as well. And I love what I do. That stuff is awesome to me. But to make it even better, my boss doesn't tell me what to do. He asks what I think is a good idea. And if it's better than his, I'll just nickname. Um, I am going to nickname my Pidgey. Uh, I wanted to do like Falcon or Hawkey from last evening, but I'm not sure anymore. Um, shit. Oh, you know what? I'll just nick nick nickname it a, um, a bird from New Zealand, which is just a toy. It's all bear. Um, so what that means is that, like, this Pokemon here, regardless of what it is, which is a Rattata, I can't catch it. I think there is an exception with Shinies, but um, I'm not going to have that in this either. If I... Stump okay. I really hope you don't crit. Oh, uh, okay. Alright. Um, if I stumble across a Shiny and it's not the first Pokemon in the round, I can't catch it. That's the rules that, more or less, that it has, except for Shiny Hunters, and I don't, I'm not a Shiny Hunter. I've had probably about nine Shinies in 20 plus years, and one of them is the Red Gyarados from the Lake of Rage in uh, Generation 2. So, make that eight. And most of them are on this emulator. Not all of them, but most of them. Um, yeah, like my boss that I have now, he asks me what I think would work, and if it's better than his idea, he says, then you do that. That's the boss that I have, and that's the boss that I wanted. Not someone who tells me that my ideas are stupid and to fall in line. That's not a business. That's that's a daycare center. Um, that's where you go to have people say, hey, you can't do this because it's not the way that it's supposed to be done. Sorry, that was a really long rant, like seven or eight minutes, and this is supposed to be fun, so I don't know why I'm healing again. I'm just a spastic healer. So, what I'm going to do is this, uh, I'm going to catch the first four Pokemon on my team, because Route 2 is coming out. Oh wait, there's also Route 22. I think I can catch a Mankey there. Oh, this I'm going to speed up. Because nobody cares about this old man's tutorial. Like I said, I've been playing this game ever since Blue. Um, and I was 4. And I'm 26 now. I know how to play this game. I know what I'm doing. So Route 2, hopefully, Hopefully it's a Rattata, and not another Pidgey. But I've got anything against Pidgey, just, nah, uh, okay. I wanted a Rattata. You know, Super Fangs, really helpful. Really, really helpful. It helps so much. Or well, Hyper Fang, I guess not Super Fang. With, um, Brock, but... Shit happens, that's alright. So... Um, I'm gonna do a lot of grinding off camera, but like important matches I won't, or traveling I won't, grinding I will, because that can take such a long time. Uh, and they're great. Um, so I'm gonna grind up after I catch my fourth Pokemon, and I'll box one of these Pidgeys. I don't know which one. Got it, I really wanted a Rattata, and what I want here is a Weedle. Um, so I can get a Kakuna, that, uh, Kakuna, a Beedrill that can learn Cut eventually, because I don't think Butterfree can 
either a Weevil or a Pikachu. <sighs> of course I get a Caterpie. The one that I didn't want. Okay. Alright. I suppose... I think Butterfree can learn, like, I want to say Absorb, but I'm not. I'm sure. And I suppose Butterfree could be good for being like a dummy. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep Caterpie. Butterfree doesn't interest me. Um, but it could be like a dummy to kill up Charmander, which might be a Charmeleon when I fight Brock. Um, and Misty. Um, but that depends on who else I have. I'm going to try and keep all of this in New Zealand, so I'm going to call this Hoo uh, Hoo. For those of you who don't know, Hoo Hoo is a type of um, moth, technically, um, but the larval stage is the same thing as a caterpie, and they are delicious. I've had to eat them in a, well, chose to have to eat them in a solo tramp for high school. But I'm also moldy by, uh, by blood, so, you know, that part probably, everybody says it tastes like peanut butter, um, it doesn't, it tastes like uh, a sack of water that's, like, gooey. Wait a minute. Wait. Did I not? That was only three. Did I not catch that Route 2 Pokemon? I don't think I did. Oh, shit. Okay. I didn't catch the Route 2 Pokemon. Whoops. Oh, right. I don't even have to worry too much about Brock's. As long as it's not a Sparrow in here. So, I really don't want to fight Blue. So I'm just going to save. This is my way of saving, because um, that save doesn't work on my laptop. Not with the emulator that I have. Um, but, yeah. <sighs> Please be a Mankey. If it's a Mankey, I'm just going to call it Monkey. Oh, okay. So, not the one I wanted, but Rattata's a good second, with um, Hyper Fang, eventually Super Fang. Right, that should be enough for me to try and catch it. Um, and, yeah, so, I'm quite happy with Rattata here. Preferred Rattata instead of the other Pidgey that I forgot to catch. <laughs> Whoops. Um, and a Mankey here. But, you know. Now, we don't really have any rodents that are indigenous to New Zealand, not what I can think of. Um, but I am going to nickname him. It isn't here, it isn't him. Berman. Vermin are incredibly annoying, and I, as long as I can keep Raticate, I plan to make him very annoying. So, that is my team for my first playthrough so far. Let's go over then. The Fire type Charmander, the normal. Oh, hang on. Fire type Charmander, Rhaegar. The normal flying uh, Tui. The Bug, who and the vermin, uh, the normal vermin. Um, yeah, so I'm going to grind these guys up. We're likely going to have Hoo Hoo evolve into Butterfree off camera, I'm sorry. Um, it evolves at level 7 and then again at level 10, so it's not exactly like it's a lot. Um, so, yeah, I apologize in advance. Um, but, this is the end of the first part of the Nuzlocke. Um, and much like the rules, I will catch you 
on the next one. <laughs>